What's going on gamers? Today we're going to go over Optifine for Minecraft. With infinite world generation, complex cave ecosystems, dimensions, flying, and much more, the fact that Minecraft runs so smoothly is a testament to the care Mojang put into it. However, it isn't perfect. As a consequence of all of the big features, Minecraft does have a tendency to slow down, especially on lower-end PCs, and this increases exponentially when you add mods into the equation. And that is where we find Optifine. Optifine, as it describes itself, is a Minecraft optimization mod. It lets Minecraft run much faster while looking better at the same time, enabling far more in-depth customization of performance and graphical settings, and optimizing them at the same time. Optifine also comes with support for HD texture and resource packs to spruce up the look of your game, as well as, much more importantly, the ability to load shaders. If we've caught your attention, then follow along to see how to add it into your Minecraft game and how to use it. To start off, we're going to need to download the correct Optifine version for our game. To do this, head over to Optifine's download site and find the version of Optifine corresponding to your version of Minecraft. If you're using a mod pack, the Minecraft version it's on is usually listed on the mod pack's download page. For vanilla Minecraft, it's simply the version that you play the game on. For example, Minecraft 1.21.4. Once you've found the right Minecraft version, download the topmost available Optifine version. This is the most recent release for your version of the game. Now to add Optifine to an unmodded Minecraft game, you're going to first need to install Forge, the mod loader that will load Optifine for us. If you're unsure how to do this, we do have a handy guide and video on installing Forge that I'll link down below. Once you've got Forge up and running, you'll want to head to your Minecraft installation folder, which you can get to by pressing the Windows logo key and R, and then typing in percent appdata percent backslash dot Minecraft and click OK. If you've already installed Forge and mods, then all you need to do is add the Optifine jar file that you downloaded into the mods folder. If not, you might need to create a new folder and name it mods, and after that, drag and drop Optifine's jar file here. If you already have a mod pack set up and running on your computer and you just want to add Optifine to it, that is also totally possible and quite easy. It's similar to adding Optifine to a fresh installation of Forge, only here we'll be using our mod pack app to locate the proper folders. For Curse Forge, open Curse Forge and find the mod pack that you want to install Optifine on. Click the three dots on the right hand side and click open folder, and then find and head into the mods subfolder. Drag and drop Optifine's jar file here. For MultiMC, open the app and find the mod pack you want to install Optifine on, and then click the Instance folder on the right hand side. Head to the Minecraft folder and then into the Mods subfolder and drag and drop Optifine here. For Technic, open the launcher and go to the Mod Packs tab at the top and then click on the Mod Pack, and after that, click Mod Pack Options on the top right. Press the Open button to the right of the directory listing. And in the folder that opens, head to the Mods subfolder and drag and drop Optifine here. For AT Launcher, open the app and head to the Instances tab to the right of the launcher, and then scroll down to your mod pack and click Open Folder. In the folder that opens, head to the Mods subfolder and drag and drop Optifine here. Finally, for Feed the Beast, open the launcher and head to the Library tab, and then click on your mod pack and click on the three dots to the left hand side. Go to Open and then click on Open Mods folder and drag and drop Optifine's jar file here. Once you have Optifine's jar file in the correct place, it will load alongside all of your other mods. Now, with Optifine up and running on your system, take a peek at the updated options menu of your Minecraft game. Once you head into the video options, you'll notice a large number of new changeable settings grouped into multiple menus. Hovering over each option will bring up what option changes and what it's for. Some options increase performance, some decrease it, and some have conditions applied to them, but it's all laid out really clearly and concisely. At the start, Optifine's features come already pre-optimized for an experience that will be optimal for the largest number of players. If you ever feel like tweaking the settings, just be sure to do so gradually. Don't make gigantic changes all at once. By changing things little by little and seeing how they change the performance of the game, 
you save yourself the trouble of having to go through your summary of changes one by one to find a setting that might be causing you performance issues that you accidentally turned on alongside all of the other ones. Now before we go over some common issues, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our future videos. If your server is crashing, keep in mind that Optifine is a client-side only mod, meaning it only needs to be installed on your computer in order to run. Installing it on a server when it's not designed for it is going to cause performance problems, if not outright crashing. Minecraft, if you want it to be, can be as simple to use as installing it and pressing play. However, every player should be aware of all of the free and painless to use options at their disposal to make their gameplay even better, and Optifine is a perfect example of that. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.